Hello children, in this video we will solve questions that were asked in the International Max Olympiad 2017-18 from the Achievers section for Standard 3. The questions from the Achievers section carry more weightage and each question carries 2 marks. Let us look at these questions. The first question is there on your screen. Read the statements carefully and identify the number. The first line says, my thousands digit is the sum of my tens digit and my ones digit. There is a number and these are the statements that is given about the number. The first statement says, my thousands digit is the sum of my tens digit and my ones digit. So, if you are taking a four digit number, this is going to be your ones digit and this will be your tens digit. This is your hundreds digit and this is your thousands digit or thousands place. Now my thousands digit is the sum of my tens digit and ones digit. So the digit that will come here that has to be the sum of this digit plus this digit. Look at the options. To solve such questions, the best way to approach is to go with the options and check with the options and see which option satisfies these given criteria. So, here I have 9, here I have 7 and 1. Is 7 plus 1 equal to 9? No, 7 plus 1 is not equal to 9. So, this answer option is wrong. 7 plus 1 is 8. So, here it should have been 8, but here it is 9. So, this is option A is wrong. Look at option B. Here you have 6 and 1. 2. What is 6 plus 2? 6 plus 2 is equal to 8 which is satisfying. So, the thousands digit is equal to the sum of the tens digit and the ones digit. So, option B can be our answer but I cannot say for sure that this is our answer because there are also other criteria, other statements which are given which I have to check and see if this option satisfies that as well. Let us look at option C. In option C also uh, tens digit is 7. 1's digit is 1, so 7 plus 1 is 8. Here also you have 8, so option C also seems to be correct. But option D is definitely wrong because here you have 7 plus 6 which is equal to 13 and here you have 8. They don't match. So the correct answer either has to be option B or option C. Now let us compare these two options and see which is our correct answer option. Let us look at the remaining condition. The second statement says my 100's digit is, great, the, is the greatest one digit number. My hundreds digit that is 9. Yes, definitely 9 is the greatest one digit number. Here also the hundreds digit is 9 that is also the greatest one digit number. So, again both option B and C, again both option B and C seem to be correct. Let us look at the third statement. My tens digit is not the same as my hundreds digit. That is satisfied here also. Tens digit is not the same as hundred, hundreds digit because here you have 9, here you have 6. Similarly, here you have 9 and here you have 7. Third condition is satisfied both by both the options. Now, let us look at the fourth condition. The fourth condition says, none of my digits are the same and I am the greatest possible four digit number. So, we have two options now, 8962 and 8962. 71. In both of these options, the digits are different. There are no digits which are repeating. So, this part of the statement is also satisfied by both option B and C. But the last part says, I am the greatest possible four digit number. See, actually, if you see which is the greatest possible four digit number, it is going to be 9999. But here, 9999 is not there. So, what are they trying to say by this statement? When they say that and I am the greatest possible four digit number, basically they are referring to the number which is the greater of these two. Which is the greater one of these two? It is 8971. We have to take that as our answer. I understand that this part will be confusing for you because it is given that and I am the greatest possible four digit number. Actually, which is the greatest four digit number that can be formed? It is nothing but 9999. But this is not there in the options. Among these two numbers, which is the greatest four digit number? See, either it can be option B or option C. I have to choose any one option. Which option will be correct? Among these two, C is obviously bigger. So, we have to go with that as our answer. 
the correct answer here is option c next one four boys are playing a number game each of them puts their favorite number in the abacus who wrote the second greatest number what is the number that arshit has written 3300 42 what is the number arsh has written 3423 what is the number Ar arkshit has written 3142 number akshit has written as 3422 which is the biggest number of all these it is 3423 that is the biggest number so that will be that will come first which is the second biggest number the second biggest number will be 3422 so who has written the question is who wrote the second greatest number the second greatest number was written by akshit arsh writes the biggest number and then followed by akshit correct answer is option d next question match the figures in column 1 and their shaded fractions in column 2 what does this uh, fraction represent see here i have how many hexagons 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 out of this 10 hexagons how many hexagons are shaded 5 so 5 by 10 so this will match with this 3 here now q let us look at q how many rectangles are there 1 2 3 4 5 Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen rectangles are there. Out of which how many are shaded? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine are shaded. So nine out of fifteen, which will be one. So obviously this has to match with this. Or if you add also totally, you have eight uh, regions here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Out of this eight, how many are shaded? Three are shaded. So that three by eight, which will be the correct answer option here. So P is matching with three, Q is matching with one, and R is matching with two. So the correct answer option here will be option C. P three, Q one, R two. Next question. compare the following and replace p q and r by greater than less than or equal to symbol so this here it is given 1389 plus 439 you have to find out what is this symbol here that will come will it be greater than or less than correct and here you have 1788 plus 521 When you are going to solve this question, do not find out the exact additions. It is not required. Do not find out the exact sum. It is not required. Like, don't do thousand uh, three hundred and eighty nine plus four hundred and thirty nine, and then do thousand seven hundred and eighty eight plus five hundred and twenty one. It's waste of time, right? You will have carryovers, and it's time consuming. The easier way to do it is like this. See, just approximate and find out. Okay, here I have thousand three hundred and eighty. Nine, which is very close to thousand four hundred, very close to thousand four hundred, right? Similarly, here I have four hundred and thirty nine. Just take it as four hundred for now. What is thousand four hundred plus four hundred? You know it is thousand eight hundred. So this answer that you get here will be close to thousand eight hundred. I don't know the exact value, but I am approximating and saying that the answer will be close to thousand eight hundred. Now similarly, let me do it here. Here I have thousand seven hundred and eighty eight plus five hundred and twenty one. Thousand seven hundred and eighty-eight is very close to thousand eight hundred, and then I have a number which is close to five hundred. So the answer that I get here will be close to two thousand three hundred. Definitely, which will be the bigger one? See, even if I get thousand eight hundred and fifty here or thousand eight hundred and seventy-five here, the answer that I get on this side is greater than two thousand. Definitely, this value will not be greater than two thousand. Or I can say that the first value here, right? That is thousand three hundred and eighty nine plus four hundred and thirty nine. This will definitely be less than the value on the right hand side. So here the symbol has to be less than. So the symbol P will be less than. Now let us look at this one. Here I have two zero one seven two thousand and seventeen plus hundred and ninety two. 
now again what will that answer approximately be see here i have 2000 approximately 2000 plus 192 is very close to 200 so i am just taking this as 2200 that's my approximate answer that i will get for this sum now let us look at this sum here what do i have i have 5600 minus 2100 i am approximating okay 5639 i am taking it as 5600 and this 2130 i am taking it as 2100 so what will i have the answer that i get here will approximately be 3500 so even if this answer that i get here is 2250 or 2260 whatever be the exact value definitely it's going to be less than 3500 it is definitely going to be less than 3000 so again q will be less than the symbol for q is also less than now if you look at the options in option a p is given as greater than which is wrong in option b both p and q is given as less than so that can be our correct answer similarly in option c both p and q is given as less than so that can also be our answer option d will definitely be wrong because q they are saying it is equal to which is not right then we are left with the last one that is we have to find out what is r so you have 2981 minus 348 this value you can approximate it and take it as 3000 here you can take it as 300 so 3000 minus 300 is 2700 answer will be close to 2700 now if you look at this one you have 2689 take it as 2700 itself minus 140 114 take it as 100 so the answer will be close to 2600 anyways this r will be greater than symbol but since the values here are very close to each other right let's not take a risk let's actually try and find out the exact value so that we don't go wrong so if you have to do 2981 minus 348 what will be the answer that you get 2633 so this side of the uh, value will be 2633 and what will you get here you have to do 2689 minus 114 so this will be 2575 anyways you are getting the same answer r will be greater than symbol but since the values were close we tried out to try to find out the actual value so depending upon the numbers that is given in the question see if you can approximate if you can approximate then approximate and find the answer otherwise try to find out the exact difference or exact sum and get the answer here the answer was around 2200 here the answer was like 3500 they can whatever approximation we do we can't go wrong but here since the numbers were very close right you have 2981 and 2689 so since the numbers were closed we thought let us find out the exact value but when we find out the exact value also we get the same answer so the correct answer here will be option c less than less than and greater than next question find the value of p plus q minus r there is a division that has happened here you have to find out what is the value of p q and r and then find out the answer how will we divide first let's try to do 1 divided by 3 can you do 1 divided by 3 you cannot do because 1 is smaller than 3 so you take this 13 together 13 divided by 3 so what will come in place of p it has to be 4 because 4 multiplied by 3 is 12 and 13 minus 12 is 16 and the next step now you are doing 16 divided by 3 what uh, what will you what will come here it is 5 5 3s are 15 so what what should you put here it should be 15 so q is 5 16 minus 15 correct so q will be 5 and then you are doing the last step and you have 19 minus 18 as the last step and what is 19 minus 18 which is equal to 1 so p is nothing but 4 q is 5 and r is 1 now what is the value of p plus q minus r that is nothing but 4 plus 5 minus 1 which is equal to 8 the correct answer option here is option a 8 i hope all the questions that we solved was clear to all of you thank you